on my way to ride out Amsterdam to pick up my new bike. New bike day, my first gravel bike. I chose the Cervelo Aspero because I wanted a bike with enough tire clearance to fit gravel tires for off-road bikepacking trips, but that would still feel fast on the road to use it for my upcoming ultra-endurance races. We are here at Ride right Out, our local bike shop, today with John, who did the bike fit for me. <laughs> here, John. Hi, guys. Uh, after the race around the Netherlands, I realized my bike was too big, as John said. So I got a new bike, so with a shorter reach. And, uh, but I went for a gravel bike because it has a longer wheelbase. The gear ratios are also great, especially for ultra racing. So a lot of people don't take into account that you are heavy loaded sometimes with bags. It, you know, it's not the same than just riding the bike without any luggage on. So we have a 34 at the back and a 31 at the front. So that gives you enough gears to keep a good cadence in steep climbs, even heavily loaded. Also, it's great that it it comes with a bento box, so if you don't have bags, you can also use it for joy rides to keep your tools fully integrated. Bolton mount, and you also have some um, mounts here at the bottom. And today we're gonna do uh, some tune up. I already tested the bike in my last race in uh, B Hard, and it was great, but uh, we wanna do some upgrades for the upcoming race. Final tune up. So we changed the handlebar here. So this is like more like a, with a shorter reach and an aero profile. Uh, we changed it from the gravel one that came that had a bit more flare and yeah. was too wide, no? Yeah. So We're not really comfortable for long distance. You can probably use a normal, normal race bar with a short reach that would be perfectly for you. Right? So John found a really cool <laughs> solution for my problem with the light. So the diameter of these dead aero bars is really difficult to find an aero bridge and John just made a bridge, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> simple one. Yeah, yeah, that works for my light, so I already have a solution for the light. Lifesaver. <laughs> Saved by John. <laughs> it's a really cool looking bar. Now we have to see how we can uh, mount the wires. So we cut it the cable of the hydraulic disc brakes to make it a bit shorter. <laughs> Aero, Aero is everything. Is everything. <laughs> <laughs> So we changed the handlebar from the gravel one, put on this amazing handlebar tape gold, adjusted uh, the shifters, the aero bars, and neatly sorted out the cables. So, more aero. say a quiver killer it can do it all this time it has road tires but uh, you can also fit gravel tires it's a gravel bike but it has more like a road geometry you can make it like a more road geometry there's actually like a flip chip in the front uh, axle which you can turn around to make it a little bit more gravel a little bit more road Wow, like butter, huh? We, we switched the switch plate, so uh, now the wheelbase is a bit shorter, but the handling uh, is a bit better. So uh, you should try it out, maybe it works. Yeah, let's see. We also installed the Shimano wireless unit that you can use to synchronize for the DI2 with your phone and also your bike computer. Well, there's a Shimano one, but... Yeah. Um, it's an arm, right? Yeah. That's yeah. practically the stages one. Yeah, the stages one, and you can... You, there's like a four eye system for this one. And of course, there are several options. You can use pedals, 
cranks. I work a lot with rotor cranks. You can make the choice if you want a spare spider. This is like the Aldo uh, spider system. So the inner and the outer sprocket are attached to each other. It's a really stiff system. But you can also mount a normal spider on the crank system and then you can mount any kind of uh, sprocket you would like. So um, it's a versatile, cool system. That was a good ride, the bike performs great, it feels good when cornering and also fast. So Cervelo actually has two models in their gravel range, the Cervelo Aspero and the Cervelo Aspero 5. The main difference is the weight and the concealed cable routing. So I don't mind that because I normally have an aero bar back at the front and it's also easy to work on the cables that way. So the bike comes with Shimano GRX RX815 group set, DI2. And then I have an 1134 cassette at the back and a 4831 chain ring at the front. So I have enough gears for climbing heavily loaded with bags. Also, it has enough tire clearance. So the tire clearance, you can mount 44 millimeters tires 700C and 51 millimeters 650B. It also comes with reserve wheels, reserve 32 wheels with 370 DT Swiss hubs. And I really like the fact that it has this trail mixer so you can adjust what we did with John. And it has uh, mounts for a bento box or a bolt-on top tube back. And uh, mounts at the bottom. I also mounted some tune bottle cages, uh, Crank Brothers egg beater pedals uh, to use with my gravel shoes because they are lightweight and easy to clip in and out. And we changed the handlebar from the gravel one to a more road one. Uh, to reduce the reach for me and also I mounted aero bars, the Deda Jet aero bars with Shimano Di2 remote shifters at the end. Looking forward to test the new setup in the upcoming event Transiberica. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you soon!